Well, well, well. We are back on the lovely Krakenberg again. It's It's been a while. Now, I played this on stream not too long ago with a bunch of you guys, and we, it was kind of like a, a group ride thing, so I waited. Uh, we all kind of went around the track together. I didn't really shoot off on my own. And what it did do was put me in the mood to try and have a go at either replicating or at least getting close to my old world record at lap on this from a year ago. Now, that time is a 56.35, and obviously since then there's been a bunch of uh, different OEM updates in regards to tyres and such, so I'm very interested to see just how the, the track goes now, and just what sort of speed we can do. Now, I'm going to answer probably the most common question that I'm going to get on this video straight off the bat is, why aren't you on an enduro bike? So I loaded up the track just now on the enduro bikes, specifically on the KTM 500, because that was my favorite bike uh, about a year or, so, a year or so ago when I used to main this track quite a lot. However, the updated tires don't apply to the enduro bikes and it's, it's a bit of a struggle fest. I won't lie to you. I much prefer uh, using these uh, normal OEM motocross bikes with the updated tyres to give me some sort of a chance at getting a, a, a respectable lap time at least. So we're going to see how that goes. Uh, it's not going to be like a full uncut video. I'll probably uh, edit it, shorten it down here and there just to the uh, the spicy exciting bits. Uh, in my, If my memory serves me correctly, that 56.35 that I'd done about a year or so now was by no means a perfect run. It was a very clean run without any major uh, hold-ups, but there was still some hard resets in there, still some crashes, so if it can be cleaned up and I can ride fairly smoothly and consistently without too many mistakes, then we could get very close or potentially beat it. Um, where we're really going to struggle with is some like the longer or faster sections. We just don't have the top speed that we used to have where the uh, the roll resistance is higher now and oh, little bits like that just barely getting on the throttle on some of these straights your back back end comes around very aggressively so it's all going to be about patience and i apologize ahead of time it might be a little bit framey that's just krakenberg in general it's not like a weird video or recording it's it's what i'm looking at the, the track is a little bit framey it's a very very hard hard track to run on PCs uh, but I hope you can excuse that and enjoy the video nonetheless and wish me luck and I'll see you at the finish line. I am also being very very risky here and you can see at the top left I've not got the usual 12 litres of fuel in the bike. Uh, usually I'd put 12 litres in just to be safe around Krakenberg just because of how long it can be and obviously if the more mistakes you make the more times you have to retry hills and such the more fuel you're going to need but since I'm going for what is essentially I'd like a new world record, at least. Uh, I've taken some of the fuel out, I've took out two litres and I started with ten. So hopefully it gets me to the finish line. I feel like it it should do. I think I, I usually do have a little bit left over at the end, but that's how that's how try hard we're going today. We really wanna wanna push the limits a bit, see if I've improved at the game at all. Um I feel like I definitely have got better at the game since a year ago, as I completely wad myself. There's the first mistake, probably of many. Uh, but then in turn, I think the game's got a little bit slower with the whole uh, tyres and traction and such. So I think they should counter each other out. And I feel like I would like to get close, at least. I mean, regardless, I'm going to finish the run and see what I end up at. Unless I get a game crash, then you're never going to see this footage. But yeah, wish me luck anyway. Come on, get up there. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Oh, that was close. Got a little wiggle on halfway up that. Not not quite as uh, true and straight up that hill as I would have liked, but we made it. The worst thing that can happen, honestly, is getting a wiggle right at the top and falling all the way down and having to do it again. Because even when you hard reset, when your bike lands at the bottom, you are resetting at the bottom. It just takes up so much time turning around and getting another run of things. And those are the sort of mistakes I want to be avoiding during this run. Right, here we come. The first little uh, mini riverbed slash rock garden that we've got here. Again, somewhere that you probably could make up a, a few seconds worth if you were to absolutely send it. But also somewhere where you can lose a hell of a lot of time. So just want to pick my way through nice and steady, not try and rush it too much. And there we go. That's I'll tell you what, that's probably as clean as you could expect to get that. Also a very, very difficult here, the hill here that we're coming up to. So you want to get a nice arch around the outside, carry a bit of speed. And there's a little bump at the bottom as soon as i hit that down to fourth gear stand up lean back just keep that front wheel light nice and easy smooth sailing up that one and i feel like i've done this track so many times now that i know the right lines it just depends if i'm having a, a good or a bad day on if they're gonna go well or not and there will be the oh, little swerve up here in a second as soon as i spot the log and there it is slam on the brakes cut to the right 
cut to the left again, don't do a rum and just center punch the log head on. That's not good for, uh, for the head or the log itself. Oh god, we're coming in way too hot down here. I'm going to tuck the front. No, oh, keep going. Oh, there we go. Very happy. I uh, went a little bit too fast off the edge of one of those, and I was surprised that I managed to get it stopped in time. Uh, just as a reference, I'm currently 7 minutes 40 in, and I know off by heart that a decent first sector around Krakenberg is about 14 and a half minutes. Yeah, that's how tried I am. I know the sector times. I say sector times plural. I only know the first sector time. I, I uh, don't bother counting after that. But if I'm around the 14 and a half minute mark, give or take maybe 30 seconds, I will be a happy man. And we know we're on pace for a, a good time overall. Here it is, right. The next uh, difficult hill we've got to go up off here. If I can one shot this one, it will save me a whole bunch of time. When I've done this track on stream about a week or so. No, it might have been about two weeks now, actually. Uh, had uh, jams in there, and I was sat at the top watching everybody in. <laughs> I think he had about five different attempts at it, where he just got squirrely halfway up and went falling back down. And I say that, making fun of someone else. Get get uh, insta karma myself. A little mistake there. Didn't cost me too much time, only a couple of seconds, which you can't be too unhappy with. And uh, so far, so good. Probably going to instantly jinx myself here. This has been almost a faultless run so far. Uh, I'm, I'm adapting. I'm trying to be really, really gentle on the throttle everywhere just so I don't get out of control on this uh, god-awful traction. But one thing that it is quite good on, actually, is uh, there's quite a lot of switchbacks up hills where you just have to do full 180s and then and go again. Very good for getting the, the back end of the bike whipped around really quickly to get going again. So pros and cons. It can't all be too bad. And then over these logs. There we go, taking the logs very conservatively. Again, don't want to crash, maybe get uh, stuck in one of them and have to hard reset a couple of times. So it's, whilst I'm trying to go as fast as possible, I am also trying to be as careful as possible at the same time. All right, come on, All right, send it up this hill. Hopefully I can get it first time. Got to land on the back wheel and hopefully ride it out to the top. You know what? That is not terrible at all. I've had a few times where I've made it perfectly all the way up to the top without falling. I've had other times where I fell all the way back down to the bottom and had to go again. So in terms of time, that is absolutely perfect. Now this is one of the hills that can make or break a run. There's a little sneaky line through here. If you can weave between the logs, don't get kicked too much. Then it's all about ever so slowly being on the throttle. Nice and gentle. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't fall back down. Please, please, stop, stop, stop. Oh, okay, right. We saved that. I could have rolled all the way back down to the bottom there. I will take that any day of the week. Well, I think we're going to get to the first sector like checkpoint by about 15 or 15, 20 ish. So about a minute off, which isn't ideal. And I feel like it has been a pretty damn decent run. Um, it's a little bit a bit annoying because I definitely feel like it would be cleaner than what my world record run was. I think it's purely a case of how much slower the game is now. Even on the straights, the bikes are a good 15, 20 miles an hour slower than they used to be. There we go, 15, 18. So yeah, 14 and a half was oh, about a, a good world record run pace back in beta 16 days. So hopefully we can recover that through the, uh, the second two sectors, well, second and third sectors, sorry. And yeah, I mean, a minute, whilst on any normal motocross track, you'd think is an absolutely massive amount of time. All that is is purely a couple of uh, couple of re hard resets to catch up on. So it shouldn't be too bad. We'll keep plugging away. And one of the most satisfying bits of the track, a little dub up the hill, lovely jubbly, closely followed by one of the most annoying bits of track. Oh, is it going to be a good day or a bad day for me? It was a bad day last time I hit this. Right, up and over the first lip. Nice. Go on, go on, go on, go, 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 go. Oh, it's a good day. Yes, sir. Let's keep this momentum going for the rest of it. It's always a rule of thumb. You've always got to wave to the lovely man at the top of this hill, even if you crash. Hopefully we don't crash. Oh, we did. I was looking at him. Right. I'm going to push the bike along. Oh, I want to start accelerating so I can wave to him. There you go. He's got his wave. I'm wasting valuable time for you here, sir. Go, 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 go. All right. Super difficult hill number 217 on the track. Oh, how's it going to go today? Gentle, gentle, gentle. Let off the throttle the higher up you get. Okay, nice. I tell you, I'm telling you boys, it's promising. It's a very good day. We, we may be a minute behind, but in terms of just being smooth and not making too many stupid mistakes, it's going really well. Oh, the traction's so bad. Even just accelerating along the straight in fourth gear, I can feel the back end stepping out on me. Oh, God, right. Again, another very, very difficult hill. Let's see how this one goes, just to the left of that rock, and then try and hit it as straight on as possible. The crash was high up, not a terrible place to crash whatsoever, so it could be a whole lot worse again. I feel like that's been 
the story of this run so far. It's not quite been perfect, but I feel like I've got very, very lucky. I had one little moment where I had to hard reset twice because I was stuck in a tree. Other than that, yeah, very lucky where I've been crashing, so not losing too much time. Now, if anyone ever did need some hill climbing tips on uh, Enduro or just MX bikes in general, the straighter that you can hit a hill, the better. Uh, if for whatever reason you do need to turn whatsoever, you do, it has to be like the most micro smooth adjustments you've ever done in your life. Anything less than like a, a, a fly breathing on your controller, anything more than that or higher than that is when you'll get horrible front end stuff and crash. Now, I don't, I honestly don't believe there is any way of hitting uh, heels perfect absolutely every time you know it is mx bikes at the end of the day we know that it can be a uh, be a bit wonky but i think that is probably the best way to go and then also setting your bike up so it's as long as possible is a really good way to go as well so like two swing arm have the the rod length as long as it can be no pun intended and what was the other one there's something that should be set to like zero. Oh yeah full kite sorry at zero as well just so your bike is almost set up like a chopper you know super low super long and that's just the best way to avoid any of the uh, the weird the weird physics up the hills now this is what i like to call the first proper rock garden we had the little riverbed earlier but uh, i think in terms of rock gardens themselves this is actually a proper one one of the easier ones like it's quite lucky that the rocks are fairly spaced out haven't got to oh, thread the needle too many times but where it is all slightly off camber as well it can make it your bike doesn't quite go where you want it to so it's not uncommon uncommon there you go perfect timing for your front wheel just to dip into one or two of the rocks when you least expect it ah this bit is always a fun time so in a second we're going to come up to some blue uh portaloos which we need to hook a sharp left after. And then we've got the uh, the gap of doom. There are two stacks of tires, which is barely wide enough for your handlebars. So we're gonna take the risk. We're gonna try and absolutely pin it through them. Sometimes it goes amazingly and you go through at Mach 5, Mach 10, and other times you absolutely slam into them. And today was one of the slam into them times. Oh my God, I'm pretty sure you would end your life if that was IRL. That looks so, so violent. Uh, I also refer to this hill right here as hill of doom. I can count on one hand the amount of times I've made it down this hill successfully. It's just so, so steep, and whatever traction resolute's put on this snow is ridiculous. You cannot stop for the bottom. I, it's, there's only a single time I have ever made it down that hill cleanly without wrecking myself. So, as far as descents of that go, that was pretty damn clean. And there's a little sneaky line in this next rock section that is not cheating at all. The track creator himself, Mr. Kraken, told me to take this when he watched back one of my runs. So we're still in within the tape, we're still within the markers, just go around these rocks rather than through them, like I used to always do. And then try and pray that I get a decent run up this hill. Go on, a straight line as possible, and we're up, on to the next obstacle. I'm not sure this is doing my fuel efficiency any good, is it? Just banging it off the limiter on <laughs> along this entire straight. You know what? We don't care about for being fuel efficient today. We are going for as fast a time as possible. Um, not really been taking much notice of how many tariffs I've been pulling, just as I put it there, for that one speck of dirt. So hopefully I don't run out. More so for you guys than me, because I have no issue riding around with dirty, uh, dirty goggles the entire time. It's just how it translates over to YouTube once the, the whole bitrate's been condensed and things look a little bit more grainy. I think the biggest key to these rock gardens is just looking ahead. Also, you get bits like this with these massive rocks here that you do just have to send it a lot of time and, and pray and hope. Please don't respawn me inside a rock. There we go. That's probably as good as you could ask for again. Yeah, you get some sections where the entire path is uh, is covered, essentially, and you do have to like tire tap a rock or just launch off one of them and pray to the, the MX Bikes gods and Pavosa himself that he blesses you with uh, a nice kick off of the, the object. Here is another one of them sections where you just have to hope. That was pretty damn sick. So I think, I don't know if Resolute made these rocks himself or if they were pre-existing that he's put in here, but they do have a really good collisions on them. So a lot of the time you can actually ride across them fairly well. Only if you're a little bit squirrely already going into them that they really punish you. But if you're controlling it, you can do some nice tire taps, some nice, uh, nice little doubles over them. And it's very, very satisfying. And another rock garden has been conquered now. What we are coming up to next is the run breaker. This is what, what you can see up there on the right. Absolutely huge rock section, goes back and forth multiple times. That is Carl's Diner. 
and that is the part of the run where it can go so so downhill uh, there are huge rocks in this section that I'm coming up to and if you get stuck in one you can hard reset you, you have to reset like four or five times sometimes it takes up so so much time so a clean run through there is pivotal to getting a good time on Krakenberg overall and one of the most difficult parts of it is how to start the bloody thing. I always try to just like use this little rock at the start. There we go, up and over it. Okay, wish me luck, boys. It has been pretty damn clean so far. A lot of the uh, the bigger... Oh! Honestly, what is my timing? I have to hard reset here. If it spawns me inside a rock, I'm going to cry. Oh my lord, what is this? Okay, and... Please let me out. We're wasting so much time. Oh god. I was literally just talking about how it's been a clean run so far and I've like pushed my bike through sections I was unsure of rather than just sending it and hoping and, oh, and it always comes back to bite me every time I open my mouth and there's one nice little double at the end Rob, up and over that rock and survived okay that's half of Carl's diner done now we just have to go back basically through what we've already been through once already and if, if anybody's ever watched Johnny Walker's IRL videos of Erzberg and watched him go through Carl's diner it's actually ridiculous the amount of talent that those enduro boys have on a motorbike. Like that, the, they literally—they're not even rocks at that point. They are literal boulders that these boys are going up and over. And to watch it, I, I've watched the GoPros of Erzberg so so many times. Is it something that I would always have in my mind as something that would I would love to do, but know that I wouldn't even make it up the first hill because even just the normal hills that they go up is insane to me. Just I don't understand how get to that level having that much control over your motorcycle and Carl's dinner diner is completed so just when you think that you've got through the worst of the rocks I suppose it's the worst of the rocks but just when you think you got through all the rocks you come down this little hill and oh what's that you've got one more rock garden to get through I can see salvation just up ahead we are very very close I'm gonna sneak between the uh, fencing and that rock double our way out right so that is the last of the quote-unquote difficult rocks for the entire of the run so we've got the uh, the make or break bits out of the way and i only had to hard reset two different on two different occasions i think so it was actually not bad whatsoever as as far as uh, rock gardens go now the next hill that i'm coming up to after these few switchbacks is probably the hill that i'm most likely going to have to push the bike up of uh, it was one of the hardest way back in 20 I was about to say 2016, I haven't been playing the game that long, way back in beta 16. Uh, but now since the tractions become even worse, and it's just, it's a nightmare. You know, you've got no run up for it. There is a short left, just as I'm about to turn here, and then it goes straight into the climb. Yeah, and there is such a short run up, and it's nice and bumpy at the bottom as well. So it usually kicks you sideways. Let's see, as long as you can keep some sort of momentum going up this, you should be okay. It's very, very rare I make it all the way to the top usually battling the handlebars the entire way just making little micro adjustments getting off the throttle with a second i feel the back end start to go come on keep it going keep it going keep it going the last thing you want is to fall all the way back down to the bottom once you're this far you know what i'm happy to uh, admit defeat there shut off the throttle push it a little bit and then get all the way to the top i'm very very happy with that come on this is actually a really really good run i, th I don't know if we're going to do it but I reckon I can make it pretty damn close. And we're up. Have the back brake. Land perfectly down there. Another very satisfying double. You get those rare occasions on this track where you just find something that probably isn't meant to be doubled. But, you know, you, just, you, you make it work. It's not too bad. And then a nice clean run up that little bumpy hill as well. And I'm very, very happy with things so far. I apologise for that uh, multiple there for running her over. Now, we've got a bunch of uh, wood trails now for a little while. And then we get into a couple of uh, difficult sessions. But as long as they all go smoothly. I mean, I, I don't actually know how far away I am from the line at this point. This is kind of where I, I lose track of time and just play the track. Um, when I was going for my runs, I was only really caring about where I was at in the first sector. God, there we go. Yeah, like I said, it's about 14 and a half. And I feel like we've had a pretty good middle one. So I might have brought some time back on my world record run there. Right, now, this straight is usually where I'm very, very tempted just to open her up and hang it off. But, as you can see, there is the occasional hole dipped here and there, which can spit you off the bike in an instant. As well as, there's a couple of uh, like little rollers up here, so there they are, slam on the brakes, and then just try and like double my way through these. There we go, no funny front end stuff. 
lovely. And now this is where I can start getting on the power again a little bit and try and make up a few seconds. Oh, there she is. This, uh, me, me and this hill, we've got some personal issues. Now, I have made it up cleanly in one run, one time, up the entire thing. There's certain little, like, ledges that you can get to and stop the bike on, uh, which I do. Now, this first one here is usually pretty easy, just straight up and over that. There we go. Let me hook a left here, up that one, over this one. Oh, then there's a little left up here. I'm having problems much earlier than I expected to there. Thank God I didn't fall back down. So usually this point right here is where I uh, have to stop and like readjust myself, realign. But, oh no, please, please, please. Right, okay, that's not bad. But yeah, most of the time I have to do exactly this where I have to push up this last bit. One time I've made it through this cleanly. Either on beta 16 traction, which as we know was all incredibly OP. You know, I hate to say this, but looking at the time at the top left, and at least in my memory of how much track we've got left, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I've got six and a half minutes of time. Oh god, this hill's so difficult as well. Please just make me crash. Yes, thank god. Very difficult as well, because you can't see the entrance point. So once you get past this actual main bit of hill, you've got this little trail at the top. Very hard to see that from the bottom. Yeah, we've so we've got... God, come on. Six minutes left, and... I don't know, I think this is going to be a massive, massive challenge to get... To bring her back home in time. I might just have to change it to be in sub one hour rather than trying to go for that world record. There's, I think there's like one or two more hills between here and the finish that can make or break it for me. Like I could lose so much time or I could somehow one shot them and gain a bunch of time. So uh, I maybe, I was going to say cross my fingers. Can't do that since I'm playing. I'll cross my toes and hopefully that works all right. Oh, please don't make me respawn and do that hill again. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I've, always, I've just gone up these uh, two little hills to my left here fairly cleanly. Actually, wobbed my brains out on the easy bit coming back down. Come on, let's get to the top of this one. And then we've just got one more difficult hill left that will uh, kind of dictate the run, I believe. Get up and over that. You know what? Push it. I'm happy. Cool. Go, 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 go. Four minutes left. And... <clears throat> well, I was about to say super sneaky line over this log. You can jump... Like use this little bank here on the left, jump up and over, there we go, lovely. But I didn't expect to uh, fully wad my brains out before it. So we got... Oh god, I've only got two and a half minutes left. No, I don't think this is possible. I'm literally about to hit the hill that I've been talking about, the one that will make or break it, but even after that, I've got a bunch of flat out long straights, and I don't think that I've got enough time. Like this, oh, this hill's so hard as well. You kind of have to slalom your way to the right, and then slalom your way to the left. Slalom your way back to the right come on get up there I'm gonna push it from here that's not a bad run up that whatsoever but oh two minutes left right it's really gonna be flat out from this point but well, i'm absolutely sending her down some of these drops probably shouldn't do because that happens go 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 you know what? no i don't think i can i've got a minute left and i've got I've, I've still got to do the tiny little stadium area which might it takes like 30 seconds by itself Oh, that's actually so annoying. I think I'm going to come in just short. Oh, you know what? I think that crash probably seals the deal as well. And there it goes at the top left. The timer. 56.35. That's it. It's gone. And I've literally got maybe less than 10 turns left to go. Which is so, so frustrating, man. So I'm actually super happy with how this run has gone. In terms of consistency and just keeping the momentum going. Like, just keep track keep going around the track if that makes sense there's no points that i really got held up or had to hard reset or redo over and over and over again um yeah it wasn't meant to be damn you beta 17 for slowing everything down but it should still come in sub hour it's always good i'll always take that that's usually like my uh my time scale when i when i think in my head of doing a krakenberg run it's like oh have i got an hour to spare i do okay yeah let's do some krakenberg <laughs> but we've got this tiny little stadium area we should come in under 59 minutes as well so I think we'll probably be like two minutes off of the uh of that world record pace there we go one corner here we've got one left and then a final straight and one final downhill and a final wave to the ktm man always got to give him a wave in there for me since day one there, there is generally not a single time i've ridden past that without waving and i don't know why even just riding around in testing not for video purposes and these people here are the marker that i need to turn left down this hill 
one final drop off here a left hander and then the finish keep your eye on the top left because the time never counts in testing so we have to look at it as we go across so it's a 58 19 58 19 you know what i'm not unhappy with that considering just how awful the traction felt the entire way around and i just think you can't carry as much speed around the track anymore but that'll do it from me i hope you guys have enjoyed the video thank you for uh, sticking around to the end if you did do and let me know what your best krakenberg time is as well i'm very interested to see uh, if we've got he any hidden enduroists out there as well coming for the crown but uh, if you enjoyed the video please do drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new hope you have a lovely rest of the day whatever it is you're up to and to catch you in the next video peace I'm working hard, I'm sacrificing my life, I'm sacrificing my mind, I'm sacrificing my sanity, but most importantly, I'm sacrificing my time. Boy, I feel fine, I feel like I am a king. Honestly, I can't complain. Even with faith that's the size of a grain of some salt, I will still move a mountain and do what I want. I